Warning, graphic pest control video ahead. Do not watch if you might be offended. If, however, you really like watching pest control videos, then hello again and welcome to the Squirrel Hunter channel. Please continue and watch us as we control pest populations with silenced air rifles here in the UK. If you have any questions, can you please check the description below first to see if it's already been answered and for some useful links. Thank you. In today's video, I should be using the Daystate Mark IV I in 177, I should be launching one of our favourite pellets, the Barracuda Hunter Extreme from H&N Sport. As you can tell, I'm on Squirrel Hill. I'm out with Bro today. He's down on his feeder and you'll see what he gets up to in a minute. I'm just sat here, all set up. I've taken a test shot, listening to the bird's song. I'm waiting for the first victim to arrive. And here's one likely subject. It's on the branch of the tree on the left there. And as per usual, I'll wait till he comes down. Start to get into a feeding pattern. It's quite clearly here because there's food here. That's the way we used to draw them out of the wood. Put a feeder on a tree or near a tree. Fill it with bait of some description. Usually wheat for us. You can use other things, but wheat's cheaper. And they used to eat in it on pheasant feeders and this is a pheasant shoot as well as the commercial forest where the trees are used as a crop and the squirrels damage both of those things being an invasive species from North America brought over by the Victorians you can read the links in the description if you don't understand that and that's why they're going to be shot to remove them from the woodland this one sat on a little patch of bait I often put little piles here and there sometimes helps with squirrels coming past. This one's in a feeding pattern and I'm watching it through the scope waiting for the opportune moment to take the shot which was just then. Pets hit it straight in the brain there's usually a bit of kick in again read the links in the description as to why it's brain dead but spinal neurons keep firing. A bit of interest in physiology I'll give it another shot right now. But look in this video, there was really no need. Dead the first time. And the kicking pretty much indicates that all is normal. The only times I've ever had them, well, they don't move. A lot of the time, they do need a second shot. That's a dead giveaway normally that the brain has been destroyed when they move in that fashion. Here's another one I meant to come from the left. We'll have the log of doom often proves quite a positive for the feeder if you put some little branches up to it even logs on the ground are good squirrels use them as runways they produce a bit of scent on there I should imagine the other squirrels follow it along and end up finding the feeder at least that's what I think anyway it's personal opinion no science to back it up just what I've spotted over the years shooting these things. Thought I'd let the first couple of clips play out in their entirety, then I'll speed up anything they're messing about. I'm pretty sure it's come for the food, otherwise it wouldn't be here. I'm quite willing to let it come down and have a feed, not because I'm worried about its health, because I want it to sit still so I can shoot it in the brain with my sub 12 foot pound air rifle which will kill it pretty cleanly. Even an FAC rifle is not guaranteed to kill it hitting it in the body. If you hit it in the wrong place, it could run off and get down a rat hole or a rabbit hole, but it's even more pronounced with the tool I have in my possession. That said, if it sits still with no head movement, it's just asking for a shot to the brain. You can see by the fact I've altered my camera position that I'm sizing it up for a shot. Just like that. It makes a good impact straight into the brain. Never knew what hit it. That's exactly what we want to happen pretty much every time. We're in the business of shooting as many of these per visit as we can to make the most use of our time, fuel, and other expenses we might incur. I'm going to start speeding these up now just to save you the hassle of watching over and over again 
what usually happens. And quite clearly you see it did mess about a bit. Running around on the roof. And it comes down to the ground. I'll put it back on normal speed again just to show you what happens next. Sometimes see this. Where squirrel comes to investigate another one. Looks quite painful, doesn't it? Looks like he's biting him on the elbow. Let's zoom the camera in to try and get a better look. And those teeth are like chisels, so I can't imagine that would be very comfortable if it was still alive. It quite clearly isn't. Interesting choice of attack. It certainly looks like an attack, doesn't it? Getting no response, can't quite work it out. Let's go back to a bit more chewing of the arm, something of a wrist chewing. Interesting behaviour, that's why I left it in the future see. Choose some ankle. call. Whether it's some sort of squirrel jujitsu, I don't know. Enough of that. Let's go up and have a feed. Don't really like bullies at the best of times. Reprehensible creatures, whether they be animal or human. This one's come to feed properly now. Nice and calm for all the time in the world. I'm watching it through the scope, waiting for it to sit up. But to requote Wire Terp, I used in a previous video. Speed is fine, but accuracy is final. And we're looking for accuracy. These sub 12 foot pound rifles. That's exactly what I got there. Straight in the front of the head, 177 pellet. Stone dead on the ground where I can see it. No risk of it bobbling off into the bushes to die or not die without knowing what happened to it. I know exactly what happened to it. It's dead on the ground. I do wonder sometimes when you hear a lot of people talking about souping their rifles up some more, get more power. If they're really trying to mask the fact their accuracy is not as good as it should be. I mean, we do really believe that accuracy is the thing you should be working on. In the first instance for your rifle, in the second instance for yourself. Your ability to use the accurate rifle. Obviously setting up a situation like this, trying to get them to come to the feeder, present you with a stationary target. It's also part of the deal as well. Otherwise, I'd be shooting this with a shotgun. For some reason, this one's not coming to the feeder. Or maybe the ones on the ground have put it off, or there's perhaps more likely another one nearby that I haven't seen yet. Who knows whether this is the one or whether that's the other one. It's coming back down the tree somehow. Definitely looking like it's coming to feed. Messing around with the camera now, obviously. The rifle's on its stand. As soon as it looks like it's going to take a mouthful of food, I'll get the rifle on it. You can see I've had to speed this up. Most of the time they mess about. I'm going to have a feed. This one seems blissfully unaware. It's wandered straight through. No chance of shooting that with my rifle. A big sigh of exasperation. Maybe Breville picking up down the bottom of the hill. Maybe it'll come back later, I don't know. But sometimes it happens. marks on a tree have damaged the bark a bit there. Only on the surface though. As they run up to that uh, feeder. It's another good reason for putting the poles there. It 
a really good intense look at the ones on the ground. And that so often happens whilst I'm watching one squirrel, another one appears. Caught me by surprise that did. Not bit of a wrestling match. on the ground. You can see why I sped this up. A lot of messing about going on. It's a lot better, isn't it? See, I was tracking it with my air rifle. No, it became still. Shot to the head ensued after all that messing about. There is another one kicking around somewhere here. And the second shot for good measure. Again, I don't think I needed to. on the top of that lid now. Bit of fuel on the top, especially the ones that run through. Maybe if it stopped and had some food there, it might have sat there with its head up and taken the shot. That's why it's on the front corner like it is. If they sit there and feed on that corner, pretty much be looking at me. We'll be able to turn their back and take a quarter in shot or a straight on shot. See the one on the tree that I thought was coming down to the feeders going back up. Disappears from sight, so I turn the camera off. I'll we'll have to turn it back on again then. As I notice where he's turned up. Sat on that branch right in the top centre of the screen. Motionless, as they often do. We'll be moving around in the hide as I've decided. He's going to sit there like that, pretty much on range for that branch. Just gonna line up on him. Get ready to take the shot. Straight to the brain. Down to the ground like a sack of spuds. Here comes another one. Decided to do the same thing. Get the same result. All they're going to do is sit still. Don't care where they do it as long as it's in sight. They haven't got to leave the hide now. They go full well. The shot was good. Quick zoom in on it there. So I can see a bit closer. Pretty much happy with that. Here have another one coming down by the side of the feeder. Zooming on the next victim, hopefully. You can see I picked the corpses up earlier on when I put that wheat on the lid. If you've got to leave the hide, it usually pays to pick them up. Best to check them first, just in case uh, you haven't killed an eight right. You don't want to get bit by one of these things. You can see I've sped this up. That was a jet aircraft coming over the top. I'm about to take the shot, and I miss. Caught out by head movement. Wasn't ideal, trying to take it on the side of the tree. It was obviously agitated, I thought it was still for long enough. But it was head movement caught me out there. It's annoying, but it happens. The squirrel won't know what happened, it'll run away, it'll come back another day. As annoying as it is to miss an animal, it got away. There's always another one. There he is, up the tree. Easy. Something happened to my rifle. I'm not sure what happened there. Must have damaged the pellet or something. 
maybe the bolt was open a bit and then I have a proper shot and miss it. So it's back to back misses. How annoyed am I? Squirrels escaped both times though, completely uninjured. And I end up with six on my day out. So it could have been eight. If I didn't particularly have a great day this day. Over to Bro. And as you'll see, he has a much better day than I did. Quite a bit of spilt grain around here. No mistake from Bro there. I do believe he's using the Air Arms S510. Exactly the same pellets as I was, the Barracuda Hunter Extremes. His clip's a lot shorter than mine. As you'll see, he gets a lot better kill rate than I do. I'd like to say I only missed two, which I did. I don't normally miss any. Poor judgment on my part. You could argue the second one was down to equipment failure. Nice one, bro. But even equipment failure, I do believe, is my responsibility. Bro's on form, though. Save the day for us. Get the numbers up. Make the landowner happy. In case you're unsure on how it works in the UK or England is where we're shooting the rules are you need permission to shoot on some land that's owned by somebody else if you go on there with a rifle or other weapon it's armed trespass and you could end up in jail so what we do is we often shoot the squirrels for free as long as we get free entry to the land Landowner gets his pest shot, and we get to go out in the countryside where we wouldn't normally be able to go and shoot squirrels. Simple exchange. That said, we'd like to do what we stated we would do and get rid of as many of their pests as possible. So when we do make a long old journey to a place like this, we want to get as many as possible. Bro's filling in quite nicely here. Use another excellent rifle in the Air Arms S510. Not one of these squirrels has come to the feeder so far. There's enough spilt grain around to keep them happy. That'll do. See the blood start to gush out from the side of the head pretty much immediately. Quite happily feeding, now it's dead. You can see the spot. Just as the pellet struck, you can see the aim point. A tatty looking robin there, and you can hear the squirrel call text message alert of Bro's phone in his hide. I've probably texted him to tell him I've missed some. He's probably laughed at me. But it happens. If you shoot them enough, you'll eventually miss something. But that's not bro today. This is what happens when they sit in a feeding pattern. They sit up nicely like that. Heads nice and still. The moment you try to shoot them, when they're moving around or agitated, you're more likely to get a head movement. I've pretty much proved that in previous videos, looking at the frame rates. They can move their head quicker than you can shoot the shot due to reaction time and pellet flight time. Just need them to sit still like that. It's pretty much rinse and repeat. They come galloping down for a feed. They've done it 
for days and days and days, probably weeks, with no ill effects. And then that strange tense over there. They don't know what's happening. Bit of a graphic one, that. Lots of blood coming out of it. Sometimes happens. I did put a slow mo of the blood. I thought it's probably a bit too gratuitous and YouTube wouldn't like it, so I deleted it. But it was a warning at the beginning. And if you've watched it this far, you probably don't mind. I'm bothered to speed this one up. No trouble with food on the ground, so they could turn their back on you. I think the head moved almost caught bro there. It's gone off to the left, it has. Judging by the reaction, apparently it hadn't struck exactly in the centre of the brain. I think that one might have. When something like that happens, you tend to forget about the video in. Track them with a rifle. I'll try and find it now. It's here somewhere. There it is. It's obviously jumped a little way. Come to rest and Bro's finished it off there and leaves the hide. Big splodge of blood on the ground from that previous squirrel. Well, the one before that one, actually. Didn't seem to make a difference, did it? Nor did the smells of other squirrels. There we go. Nice shot there, bro. Awful lot of squirrels come down the hill towards this feeder. Well, I used to shoot this area, you can see it all the time. A lot of them must be bed down up the hill. That's that still for too long. Looks like I'm texting bruv again, bro even. Do get them mixed up, the names are so similar. You'd think our mother would have called them something different, wouldn't you? looking blackbird and the scruffy looking robin so the vagrants of the bird population they're having a free feed so hopefully they'll sort their life out this one's sat nicely up feeding away They'll often sit with their back to an object, they can't be snuck up on very easily. It's always helpful. They're trying to shoot them. Yet another one bites the dust. Or kicks the wheat. It's probably more apt. Not biting anything at the moment, or the hole in its head like that. Well then, bro, I'm pretty sure I've called him bruv at some point in this video. I could go back and find it and edit it out, but no, it's definitely bro, not bruv. Here comes the last shot of his outing. Not quite in the centre, but the pellet was where it should be. There's an advantage of shooting on the slope, they tend to kick away from the feeder. It's with a video of this thrush. 
a little bit of feeding in the leaf litter. Always like to see the songbirds out. Unlucky for some, well certainly these 13 it was. Pretty good shooting there bro. My six making up 19, so not a bad total for the day. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.